we are back with the next part of the god damn i am factory leo kaiser leo zack or as they call him spear of marvelous interesting anyway nice little gray white jet and you looks fantastic oh yes and looks pretty good you got some land gear that don't have movable wheels eh I mean, considering I'm one of the guys that actually has movable wheels, it's still funny. And they can just fold up like so, so you can... That, and he's, as usual, suffers from the fucking jet mode thing of... Hello! Okay. <laughs> yeah, very nice. And wings can move up and down, but that's transformation stuff. Anyway, transformation. So we'll do the... So first off, you want to untab this and walk it back. Word of warning, the hinge here is super stuck stiff. When I first transformed, the cockpit came off the ball joint. Anyway, so I take the cockpit area, grab the wings and flip them up. And just fold that down. <laughs> it doesn't peg in, it just stays there. Next, grab what are the arms and untab them. You want a double hinge, so you want to rock that hinge up. So there, so you have a normal pair of arms. And just rotate the arms so the we that gap you can see the mushroom peg is inwards. And extend out the arm, flip out the fist, and then rotate them. On both sides. Yeah. What's well, next is the arms? And I won't be getting that green helicopter they teased because it just does not work for the set. Looks good, but I'm not going to bother. Anyway, next off, we come back here and untab the house section. We'll get to the legs in a moment. That. So once you do that, you can now untab the backpack and flip out the head. Like so. And then rotate it. Take it back up, there's the head. Now, for the legs, they extend out, but you also want to move these panels out. At the same time, move the feet completely out of the way so you can get a bit of room to do this because you've got to fold the panels here in one, both sides, and extend the legs completely. And you push those back in as a way also somewhat lock legs into place. Untab legs, fold the tail fins up however you want, and put the feet back in place, fold the feet down, and then the langer just folds up and under the foot. And there is Leo Zack in his robot mode. Very, very nice. Other than like, backpack's a bit big, but I can give him that because he does what he needs to do. Now, accessory wise, and then we'll do post -based. accessory. He's got the big pole. <laughs> he's got, oh, Jesus. <laughs> the head. Here's part of the torso. Standard chest gun thing, which we'll take off. Is it animal pa breast force partner? Just can tab on. Multiple different hands, which are the same. Grabby, splayed, and karate chop hands, if you can see them. Like, you know how they transform in and out. He does come with the normal spear as well, so he at least has the spear. But, let's take these parts off. He does come with alternate spearheads. Like these ones. Very nice. Then comes with also these two things. What these are are little ratcheted things that can out. ninja stars maybe. But they got these little pegs inside. You get these tips and just put them on. And I don't know why, but you can also use these in alternative to where are those parts. To these things, which was supposed to come with the Jaguar. They're pretty much part of that big spear. You can have this part instead. 
And I got a picture. So, yeah, good night. Nice. They can do that with them. Which I probably won't bother doing because it looks really stupid. But... Well, that's pretty much it for accessories. Like his little guy, which folds out. And get everything in position. Fold out to the gun. And fold that peg. Put the legs down. And down into a little lion dude. I really do like these little guys. Still got laugh at the name Breast Force. <laughs> anyway. Posability wise for this guy, head's ball jointed, which is always good. Ball joint at the shoulder, swivel, double elbow, ball joint at the fit wrist. There's waist and a crunch, which is always nice now. It's good some real so you can get some forward. Not much back because of the backpack. In and out, swivel. A knee. Yeah, it's a double knee. And ball joint at the ankle. So he's decently poseable. But that's not why we're here now. Let's get on to combination, which I haven't tested yet. Cause <laughs> So pretty much, fold the head away. Put it back together. Put the legs together for the moment. Then we need to flip tail fins down flat like so and the foot up then we rotate the waist like so oh yes it side skirts as well there notice and then rotate the fist Flip it away on both sides. And at the lower hinge, you want to flip it out like so. And then, yeah, grab our head. It will peg into the peg hole there. So, and then basic, flip the feet up to lock it into place. Jets have to be facing outwards. Okay, that makes it better. So the feet have to be full out with the jets facing outwards. And next we grab oops, this, there's his part. Peg holes, two pegs at the back, slide it in. And hope everything lines up. <laughs> Take those in. Two slots, slots. Let me try to get this in. And then there's our chest. <laughs> I think he has some bit of light piping in there, but I can't get it to work. And now we just tab them on. There we go. He's looking good. Now it's just the arms. Oh, they're pretty much the same joint. You can put them here to your side. Except for legs. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Should probably start building the spear. But yeah. He's looking good. Can't wait for the next two. Hopefully it's Hellbat or the Bat one first. Because I've got the TFC Guy Rock. Bye.